Good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Weekly Spark. This episode is brought to you by a junk mail catalog that came in the mail. Now, I try and make a lot of my presents for people for Christmas. I try and shop local. I try and shop small business. Um, and yes, this catalog does come from one of the major, huge corporate um, online shops. However, it already came, it was in my house, and it's awfully cute. Um, fox and bear in the car on a road trip. Yes, I tore the cover off because that might turn into something. Yeah, it's whimsical. Yeah, it's not my normal style. But, you know, sometimes you just want <clears throat> to sit down and play and not overthink things. Here they are at the campfire. Again, cute. The kicker is it's a toy catalog and it has all these activities in for the kids. And so I just kind of like the graphics. This there's a bunny in a boat. Right there. Love that. That could theme a whole page. Adventures are better together. Yeah, I don't need that. I like the the post here. I thought it would be fun to, you know, cover up the letters and have all different things. Maybe this might be great in some kind of like um vision board for the beginning of the year, right? With different goals listed out or something. I just, I liked that image. Our main characters again. So I, I probably won't use all of these, but I was going to clip and save the things that I might want to use. Uh, yeah, stickers. Masks. Probably won't use those. Very cute. I like the background design with the holly and the ornaments. So then I realized, I was about to throw it away, and then I realized that there were words and phrases in here in text that you don't normally find. And they might also be great for some kind of vision board. I like to do kind of a startup collage in the beginning of a sketchbook at the beginning of the year with different kind of goals and aspirational ideas for the year coming. So, I mean, that's amazing. That's perfect. And you'd never find that in a fashion magazine or a news magazine. All right, so let's see what we find in here that can be repurposed. Yeah, now that I'd cut through that a little bit when I cut out the unlock curiosity right before I turned on the camera. So it may be slightly perforated. There's something about found text that's just inspirational. Sure, I could say that and write that in my own handwriting on a page, but um, it's different when you find it and it's already printed. A different appeal. Wow, he's pretty cute. Is he a hedgehog? Is he a porcupine? He's got a guitar. So watch and light up are both good. I probably wouldn't use that whole phrase um, altogether. But I think that's worth clipping and saving. Oh, he's cute. Overlooking the water. Just kind of pensive. I do have a thing for foxes. I really like foxes. Yeah, see, these things I might not use altogether, but having learning and magical, those are both two great words to have that I could definitely see being somehow worked into a vision board or collage of mine. Uh, 
I mean, it's a rainbow made out of colored pencils. You cannot go wrong with that. All right, he's pretty cute too. These may go in a folder with other collage material and they might never get used, but I like them. They're cute. It doesn't hurt to cut them out before I recycle this catalog. Sometimes I do like to check the back because you never know if there's some a word or an image that you might like even better on the other side. All right, that, that works. Yeah, I know, this was a very different kind of Weekly Spark, but from literal junk mail that came unsolicited in the mail to some really cool words that will probably show up in a New Year um, vision board type collage, I look for things everywhere, you know, sometimes it's the wrapper on a fancy bar of soap, sometimes it's the inside of your Dove chocolate wrapper, sometimes it's from your junk mail. So hopefully that sparked some ideas for you. And as always, do the YouTube things if you like this video. Come back next week for more. Subscribe, um, hit the like button, all those things. And for now, I'm going to sign off and hopefully I will see you next week. Have a good one.